Hi, um, in this video, I am going to show you about the SN2 reaction and its mechanism. So before SN2 reaction mechanism, let's see what kind of this reaction. This reaction is a belong is belong to the polar reactions in basic conditions group and the polar reactions in basic conditions can be categorized further into two like substitution reaction and elimination reactions substitution reaction can be two types nucleophilic substitution and electrophilic substitution so here in nucleophilic substitution reactions they can go either sn2 reaction mechanism or sn1 reaction mechanism S stand for substitution and N stand for nucleophile and 2 is for bimolecular reaction and here 1 is for unimolecular reaction. So SN2 reaction involve two molecules to react and make a product. How it proceed? Let's the best example for SN2 reaction mechanism is reactions of alkyl halide for an example let's see methyl bromide cs3 and bromide reaction of methyl bromide with alcohol or hydroxide ion it form methyl alcohol and bromide ion leave this methyl group methyl group <coughs> excuse me so in this reaction one group leaves and one another group attack on this methyl group which that is why it's called substitution because one leaving group which is a weaker nucleophile is leaving compared to a strong nucleophile hydroxide ion is incoming. So for this reaction usually it occur in polar solvents for example like water or alcohol in case of organic solvent like DMF, dimethyl formamide, DMSO, etc. And uh, let's see how this reaction proceed and how what is the mechanism of this reaction. So in case of let's since this carbon in methyl group this carbon is attached with the four sigma bond or single bond that is why it adopt tetrahedral structure so one hydrogen is on the above of this carbon one hydrogen is away from us and one hydrogen towards me and one bromide so there are four sigma bond and then you can see this hydroxide ion can attack on this carbon by two ways either it can go from the bromide end which is called frontal attack frontal attack or it can attack from the back side of this carbon so let's see which is possible best possible attack in case of frontal attack this hydroxide ion <clears throat> is a negatively charged and bromide ion is a leaving group here which is taking electron of this carbon 
and leaving from this methyl group so since it is a bulkier group can then the carbon and also it has carrying it is carrying negative charge that is why there are two reasons number one it's bulkier and due to negative negative charge repulsion the frontal attack here is not possible so in SN2 reaction frontal attack is not easy or it is not possible that is why it cannot go through the frontal attack this it means it cannot retain the stereochemistry of the starting material right so this is not possible let's go from the back side attack backward attack so in case of backward attack what happened this hydroxide ion is start attacking to this carbon from here and same time this bromide ion is start leaving so it is carrying partial negative charge and it has carrying partial negative charge because it has it is donating towards carbon and the methyl group hydrogens are the in this adopt this stereochemistry so what happened here it is possible backward attack is possible in SN2 mechanism and also you can see that this carbon in methyl bromide has four sigma bond or single bond that is why it has sp3 hybridization state tetrahedron structure however in case of this transition state this is a transition state transition state in which one group is leaving and another group is attacking to the methyl group but here only three sigma or single bonds you can see and this bond is not sigma bond however this bond is a negative charge carrying which is almost similar to the pi bond that is why it adopt uh, sp2 carbon which is a planar that is why the backward attack is possible in SN2 mechanism which results in change in stereochemistry and this change happen 100% in stereochemistry of methyl group so you can see this bond was away from us which comes towards me and this bond here was towards me which goes to backward so in case of SN2 reaction 100% inversion of configuration take place if it is R methyl bromide then it goes to S and if it is S then it goes to R configuration plus bromide and in one more important thing then you can see in this transition state both of the reactants hydroxide ion and methyl bromide are involving that is why it is called bimolecular reaction S and 2 this 2 represents bimolecules so this is a bimolecular reaction and it happen in one step process there is no two step and according to stereochemistry it there is a hundred percent stereochemistry changes so let's see what are the other leaving groups and how what are the order of the leaving groups so here I wrote uh, best leaving group on the my left side and worst leaving group on the right hand side 
so mesetyl group mesetyl group is uh, this group which is called methyl sulfoxide group and is the best leaving group another one is tocyl group which is called toluene sulfonicase sulfon tocyl group tocylate toluene sulfonate and then iodide bromide chloride fluoride hydroxide and nitride ns2 group so these two groups are very weak or very leaving worse leaving group and then let's see which carbon on which carbon it can goes the best this reaction here is a methyl group and then if this carbon is attached to another r group r group can any be anything either cs3 group or methyl group or ethyl group or any other carbon then it become one degree carbon or primary carbon if the carbon which is attached to the bromide bromine and it has two r groups then it is called secondary carbon or two degree carbon and then if it is attached with the three r groups which is called three degree or tertiary group so the reaction rate of reaction in sn2 react mechanism happen fastest in methyl group and then slower in primary group and then slower in secondary group and very 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 weak reaction or it doesn't work with the tertiary group carbon why because of this bulky group you can see in methyl bromide all three hydrogens are very small as you will replace and put and attach any bulky group like methyl or ethyl the attack of nucleophile this uh, hydroxide ion is hindered by this ethyl group and this steric hindrance increases as we will increase from 1 degree to 3 degree that is why the best and fastest reaction happen in primary or methyl group and it slows in the tertiary group so this is all about the sn2 reactions we will see about the sn1 reaction in the next video thank you